Hello, um, hello everybody. Yes, my name is Anna and I'm a Guinness World Records adjudicator. Um, you guys are so serious, like, you know, you lighten up. Come on, so hello everybody. Uh, yeah, so I'm a Guinness World Records representative and um, as um, these two lovely people have mentioned so far, um, just recently this year, we've really kind of tried to up the ante, we, um, kind of to recognize um, women in surfing. And as a Guinness World Records representative, for me, it's a real honor and pleasure to be here to award this Guinness World Records certificate um, for the largest wave ever surfed by a woman. And that award goes to Maya with an incredible 20 meters and 72 centimeters. So Maya, you are officially amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, I'm, it's a real honor to be here with you. And um, I wish you and everybody else involved, uh, Justine aussi, um, to go and get bigger waves and um, to get a really good tour this, this season. So thank you very much. Uh, it feels pretty crazy to be the woman that surfed the biggest waves, biggest wave ever. Uh, I think it's always been a dream of mine to be able to say that, but uh, I never really knew if I was going to achieve it, so it feels pretty good. It's special, for sure. Honestly, what was my headspace, knowing that the award was going to be given out and there were, you know, different contenders, I was pretty confident. <laughs> you know, I, I've been surfing here for a long time and I mean, I know the waves that we all catch. I see all the waves and um, I, I, I knew I had the biggest wave. <laughs> so it was more about fighting to get it recognized and make a woman's category on the Guinness, which I thought was important, not just for me, because it is important for me, but for the other girls to be able to just beat the record and go straight into contention, I think. Um, just creating the platform was basically the main goal, really. I've been on it for a long time, and, you know, it's, it's been on the back of my mind for many, many years, since the first time I came here in 2013, and um, it seemed for a long time impossible after that, with all the injuries and the trauma and all. And uh, after last season, I, you know, it's been since January, I wrote it in January, and now we're in October, so... What can I say, you know, finally? <laughs> I would say it's the biggest accomplishment I've had in my career. Um, Nazare is, is amazing. I give it all the credit to this place and this wave. And if this wave didn't exist, I don't think this would be a dream that could be a reality for me. But once I saw this place and I saw how wild it was and uncrowded and the chances I had to really catch a big one and a set wave and just everything feeling at home and, and it just made sense. This was a reality if I worked hard for it. And um, yeah, so I think Nazareth is, is what made this possible really.